So today, we're unboxing the Elegoo Mars 3 resin printer. So the Mars 3 is a 4K monochrome 3D printer. Now, what's really cool is over the Mars 2, it actually has a bigger bed. The bed on this one is 5.6 by 3.5 by 6.8. So a little bit bigger, not quite as big as the uh, Elegoo Saturn, but much bigger than the original Mars uh, 3 and Mars uh, 2. So we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna see what it comes with, and we're going to start assembling it. So we see the instruction book. It's the user manual for the Mars 3. Pretty straightforward. And as you know, with resin printers, um, you know, versus uh, traditional 3D printers, uh, the, like the extruder printers, what happens is there's a lot of extra things you need you know um you know if you're using resin that's waterproof or needs, i should say waterproof but needs to be washed down with water or uh, alcohol you know so there are multiple types of resins you could work with you know so you do need to keep other stuff on the hand um besides your you know your uh, resin you know and your filament and things like that if you were using a different type of printer you need to make sure you're keeping some of these other materials on hand so here we go here's our tool kit Let's just open up that and see what that is. So this has all the parts, has some Allen wrenches, some uh, screws it looks like, some bolts, has the scraper, plastic scraper. We see our power supply, or part of our power supply. Here's the other part of the power supply. Um, okay, here we go. So there is a little snipper that comes with it. Oh, it comes with some filters to help filter out. Now, why do you need filters with a resin printer? Well, what happens is as that 4K screen is um, hardening the resin as you're printing, what happens is sometimes the little pieces break off. And what happens is this, this the filter lets you be able to pour your resin back into the bottle in order to save the resin and filter out those pieces. Because if you have those other pieces in there, you know, you may get some unwanted print results. Um, looks like this is just some type of card. I'm not really sure. Figure out what that is. We got some masks. Okay. We got a metal scraper. We got a few sets of rubber gloves in here. And we got the USB. So that is our toolkit. Now we're going to take out our printer itself. So we see the printer, it's a, you know, a relatively small unit. Like I said, you know, the footprint of the plate on this is 5.6 by 3.5 by uh, 6.8. So let's just unpack this real quick. We're just gonna be super, super careful with it. Oh, there's a little tie on the bottom. I'm holding the bag on top. So let's just throw that in there. Let's slide this off. Now in this video, we're just going to basically unbox and assemble the unit. We'll probably do some 3D prints a little bit later on in some other videos. So make sure you do subscribe. So that way, let's take this off. That way we could test how this is actually printing. So this is just the film on the cover. Now you gotta be really careful with these covers. They are like a, just a hard plastic. So they are, I don't wanna say they're fragile, but they're, you know, you drop this thing on any of them, on any of these resin printers. And they're, they're pretty, uh, the hoods, I guess they call them. They're pretty fragile or the shroud. They're pretty fragile. So we're just gonna take this off. And here we see, this is where our axes is. This is our plate, okay? So we're just gonna lay the plate down here. There is a, currently a film on here. So we're just gonna slide this off. And we see this is our vat 
right here, it is attached. At this point, there is a resin. So we're gonna go, we're gonna look at the assembly instructions and we're gonna start putting this together. So the first step is to turn the printer on. Then basically, it looks like we're going to attach the plate. And then once we attach the plate, uh, we're basically going to level it. So we're just putting our power supply together real quick. And in the back and I'm just gonna attach this Our power strips over there so we're gonna have to just jump off screen for a second and plug it in so we have it plugged in the power button on this unit is right here let's just back it up a little bit so you can see it so we're gonna press the power unit and we see it's turning on so it's asking us to insert the build platform. It does show it raised. Um, so I don't see anything locking it in here, nor does it refer to, turn the printer on, insert the build platform, fasten the rotary knob, which is this piece. Okay, the next part of the instruction, so we're not really gonna be able to get our plate in here without removing the resin vat. So we're gonna remove the vat because that's part of the next uh, part of the instructions. And they're asking us to put it, the plate on. So we're just gonna tighten this. And then they're saying to slide a piece of A4 paper in, which we have to run downstairs to get. We got our piece of copy paper, which is an A4 in most of the world, except for here, it's called copy paper. It's asking us to put it in here. And then we're gonna basically, according to the instructions, move the Z axis to zero. So we're gonna click the tools button, followed by manual. And then home which we don't see a home button on here. If we look at the instructions, you'll see it shows home. We don't see a home button, but it is this button here that it's showing to click. And it's pretty snug. Okay. So it's pretty snug. Now it's saying use the Allen wrench to fasten it. So let's grab the Allen wrench. So now it's telling us we need to use the Allen wrench to fasten the platform. So we're just going to tighten this one and this one. They're pretty tight already. Honestly, they're gonna really turn them. So we're unable to pull out the paper. So basically it's telling us to raise it by 0.1 millimeter, which is the arrow button up on the front. Okay, so there's still some resistance. Now we're able to pull it out with some effort is what it's looking for. So now it's telling us to return to the previous interface and set to zero. And confirm. So it's telling us to put it at 10 millimeters, which means we need to press the up button 10 times. So next it wants us to basically test the exposure.
So we're going to go back. We're going to press tools. We're going to press exposure. And it says press next. And now we see the 4K LED screen is lit up. We're going to put our vat back. We're going to put our thumb screws back in. And we're gonna put the shroud over the unit. And pretty much that is the full unboxing and assembling of the Elegoo Mars 3. We're going to run a test print on this, but make sure you like and subscribe so you can see the test prints and we're going to print some other stuff out on it and see how it does.